Michael in Sagal, Idaho. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And today, I'm going to take it back to my roots, my favorite frame of all time. In fact, the frame I'm wearing now, just a different color. I've worn it in this color before, but... This is the Ray-Ban 2132 color 902, which is the classic tortoise in the 52 eye size. I'm going to cut your invisible bifocals with Transitions Extra Active. This is how your lenses come to me. Unprepped, they still have the yellow DOT paint, as I call it, on your lenses. But they have Transitions Extra Active Gray and Crizol Anti-Glare. Let me take your frame out of the packaging the Ray-Ban sends it to me your Italian leather Ray-Ban case your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth with junk mail because you just don't get enough in your mailbox now so they're putting it in your eyeglass cases and of course the star of the show the main attraction the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer color 902 which is the classic tortoise it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temple from rubbing together while it's being shipped from Italy, and I'm going to put that on there where I ship to you in Idaho. I hear Idaho's a lot like Italy. They both start with an I. All right, that's where the resemblances end. But this is it. This is the new Wayfair sunglasses in the 52 eye size. It actually comes in three sizes forever and ever. It only came in 52 and 55, and now comes in the largest 58, of which I affectionately call the windshield <laughs> because of its size. But let me but I digress. So I'm going to take out your original heavy glass sunglass lenses, pop those out. That's what glass sounds like. And I'm going to install unbreakable lightweight polycarbonate lenses. But first I want to take your frame, put it into the tracing element of my blocker. And by the way, if anyone's out there thinking about a starter pair of Ray-Bans, I cannot emphasize this enough. This frame is what made me started selling online. It was so popular in the brick and mortar that I worked at when I early on in my career before I opened my own place. This frame is what made me become the number one Ray-Ban account in North Carolina. It is so comfortable, so durable, lightweight, classic, timeless, all the above. It's only $150, comes in a million colors. Okay, million and one, if you want me to be specific. But this is a good, the same way every guy needs a blue blazer. If you have one plastic frame, let this be it. Either the 52 or the 55 eye size, but it's so versatile, so comfortable, so durable. I wore this frame for years as sunglasses before I ever needed prescription lenses. And I tried one on one day and it was like putting on bedroom slippers. It was so comfortable and I decided I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my prescription lenses in there. And thus the story began. So. Now I'm going to put my tracing the, the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. I'm going to barcode this number, Secret Agent 1203. So years from now, when you ever, and you're going to, I've been wearing this frame for six to seven years. Years from now, when it's time for a new prescription, I can mail you lenses only to your home that you can pop right in that you'll see me do. You won't need to mail the frame back to me. This frame is so true in the sense that my first frame I got in 1997 to wear to watch my local college football team play and uh the lenses on my newest color that i have fit into the frame i got in 1997 when i wore these as sunglasses only so 21 years ago and i can pop the lenses out of the frame i'm wearing today into the color i got in 1997 and they fit perfectly so i'm gonna hit this button which is start a little stylus is going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. Now, I just cut a silhouette lens for somebody who did not know the shape. I had to manually program the coordinates in there. The screen is left over from that. It wants to know the bridge size. It only traced one side instead of two. Yes, 18 millimeters is the bridge size. It needs to update the software so it doesn't get stuck on when I cut a drill mount frame previously. That is the shape of the lens I'll be cutting. You don't believe me? There, there it is. That green outline is the shape. Let's move it on to the next screen. 
your pupillary distance starts at 32.5 your real one is 31.5 so I'll hit the minus button twice because it goes down in half millimeter increments to 31.5 I want to move the optical center height up also known as the seg height up to 23 so I'm gonna hit the plus button it's going up in half millimeter increments until I get to 23 this is the single vision screen meaning if it was just distance computer or reading I would use this layout chart this is the invisible bifocal so I'm gonna change the layout to this screen now let me take your invisible bifocal lenses come down here to my layout my progressive it's got a little lamp in there progressive identifier but every progressive lens has two little round circles and then below that on the nasal side it tells me the brand of progressives and then the strength of the progressives so I'm gonna flip this over I'm gonna put a dot in the center of that circle a dot in the center of that circle I underline the power because that's always on the outside which tells me it's on the right lens I write R on there backwards when I flip it over of course I'm gonna erase that one but you'll see my R there in a moment this is a Verilux, Verilux, Essilor Verilux layout chart. It has two circles there. The dot I just put in the middle of that circle. I lay out there. And then I put a dot in the center of the crosshairs, which is going to sit directly in front of your pupil. Now, I've been doing this long enough. Now, the lenses come in here with this yellow paint on there. I don't know if you can see that. But i don't trust the paint that the lab the markings that the lab puts on there they do about a thousand pair of lenses a day the person there is very busy nothing personal but i don't as a licensed optician i have the skills of a bench optician i do my own lab work there's no sense for me to trust someone else when i can easily verify everything else about it so that's why i do that and now I'm going to go ahead and advance, remove the yellow paint that comes on there. Bring this down here. This is going to be a longer than average video. You're going to see everything about it. And I'm going to use my all off optical grade acetone, which is about 40 or $50 for a quart. This is like more expensive than Patron. But I like to remove this paint before it's mounted into the frame. So it doesn't do anything to the, the finish. Of course, on, in your frame, it's not going to do anything to it. But just force a habit. I am a creature of habit. I like to do everything as well as possible from the very beginning. And keep it consistent. Even when no one's looking, stay consistent. Apply your craft. And you will rise to the top. Now I do it over this because the white background helps me see the yellow paint that is on there until it is all gone or better yet all off so bring this back down here i'll need it later so now your lenses are prepped i can go ahead and take your right lens and put it into the layout now the blue cross is the geometric center of your frame your eye is just above that in inset which is a term we use in the optical world i'm sure there's other professionals that use that but that's going to sit directly in front of your pupil and these other two dots tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly and that it's not rotated so that you can see clearly with your astigmatic correction which i'll explain a little bit later but first i need a block i need two blocks i need two jenny from the blocks who was on good morning america by the way i only know that because my wife likes to watch that show I've been having to watch it the last two days because I've been snowed in at home. We got 10 inches of snow in my hometown, which is a year's worth of snow here in the south. So I couldn't get into work. So Michael, again, thank you for your patience until it was safe enough to leave the house where I could get in here and get... For one, your lenses got, came in last Friday. I was waiting for the frame to come in from Ray-Ban. So, so the black side, it's a double-sided adhesive sticker. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to line that up on the first one. On the back is a silver button that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. First, let me pull the second side away to weld the paper to make the second side sticky. I'm going to line up the magnet with another magnet there in the arm. Make sure everything is laid out in there perfectly. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. I'm going to do the same thing now for the unright lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Your pupillary distance is the same for your left eye, 31.5 for both. So that has been mirrored over 
from the right side to the left, same optical center height. If it were any different, I would enter that value, but it's not. This was in the way, the little blocking vessel, I can rotate it out of the way. See those move around to where it's not in the way anymore. By the way, that's why I'm so talented. I have a way with words. Other people not have way. <laughs> so I am quoting the great Steve Martin because he's all about timing, 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 timing. All right, yeah, I'm a product of the 70s. Can you tell? Hit that button, the arm's going to come down, place a block onto the left lens. I just need the little arrow through the head while I perform. That's what I need. So this is the edger. This is what's going to cut the lens. I'm going to I won't ramble on about that. You guys have seen enough of my videos. That Look at that. That's a picture of the block right there. That little silver button. That is the magnet. That is the shape that I'm cutting. Job number 1203. Job number 1203. So these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, now would be the time to select that. But we're sticking with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame anyway. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now I'm going to press the chuck on there. I'm sorry, the block on there firmly and place the magnet into the chuck. Or by now, you know, I like to call it the Charles that I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. All right, I'm going to keep telling that joke until you laugh. I'm not kidding. I will. All right, so I'm going to hit the green arrow to start in every lane. The door closes, the clamp shuts making a god-awful noise. Excuse me. And then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing that shape. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the bevel. Should I let it do that? And I am. I could override it and tell it where to place it, but with your prescription in this frame, you're not going to have any edge thickness. Now if you see light flickering in the background, that is water there to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet. Meaning, the water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. But, polycarbonate lenses cut dry. Now, water will spray onto it for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical sawdust that you may begin to see forming around the edge of the lenses. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and flying debris. Speaking of protection, it also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. There on the water in Sagal, Idaho. Now, at a fun time talking with Mike, we actually went old school. He called me on the phone one day. Come on, wake up, wake up. He needs some glasses. He does some fly fishing. He just got, instead of buying a beach house, he got a bass boat. And because he bought this, I'll be able to buy a beach house. So... But he needs something to help with the glare coming off the water when he fishes. What can I tell you about Michael? Women love him, men want to be him, and fish fear him. And now the fish are going to have to swim even further away faster now that he can see them on his... I'm sure he's got a nice fish finder on there. I see the trolling motor. I recognize this blue 4x4 F-150 pickup trucks with the locking hubs. Yes, I'm from North Carolina. I love the evergreen back there. The aluminum building that he probably parks it in. Nice steel A-frame boat trailer, which I have a friend whose trailer costs more than his fishing boat, but hey, that's the way it goes. But he doesn't want to get rid of an old boat. It works so well. And he is superstitious. He's afraid the fish won't bite, won't bite his hook if he buys a new boat. So let's go ahead and get your frame. Now, years from now, should you ever need new lenses, you're going to pop out the original lenses that I mailed to you. You're going to put your thumb on the lens. You're going to grab it by both sides. Put your other thumb on top of your other thumb and push down. Out comes the lenses that you'll be wearing now that I'm about to install for when it comes time for you to buy your next prescription lenses from me. You only need the lenses only. So again, I have the frame upwards. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. 
tuck it in at the outside corner push down it snaps right in how easy is that this is the easiest frame in the world to cut lenses for I cut my teeth on this frame it put me in business it let me take a Sunday drive in my Sunday car that he called me on and we talked he says he's not an internet guy I call him on the phone give him a credit card he wants to buy glasses from me and by the way anyone else out there doesn't want to fill out the form on the website just email me a copy of your prescription tell me what frame you want the size the color and I'll make it happen that's what I did for Michael so now it's tracing the left side of the frame and it's now the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you got none in this frame Michael pop that off dry that my hand approved drying method throw that back in to throw the fish back in the pond take that sticker put it right there I do collect this because it gives me a sense of accomplishment and lets me know how many pairs of glasses I've made yes I'm a hoarder but it also is a feel-good thing that very few independent opticians out there corporate America is buying up all the box stores it's harder and harder for me to compete with the corporate giants out there but this is just a reminder of how much I've done me myself and I competing with corporate America it's a nice little reminder and it gets people see my videos Michael calls me on the phone and says hook me up brother so that's what I did so corporate America here's looking at you oh it's leaning Let's see if I can squish it back down into one thing you can lean against that so I'm gonna come down here I put your lens into my Marco 101 lensometer I'm gonna spin the axis wheel to 90 to check the power which I have done your prescription reads plus one and a quarter minus 50 at 90 I'm gonna turn the power drum and I ended up at plus 150 exactly halfway between one I'm sorry excuse me one and a quarter one tick mark away from one that would be 150 we're at one and a quarter now everything in the optical world is in quarter increments so starting at zero and going up 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 one one and a quarter this fell over let's lean it this way um, so you're on the fifth rung of a ladder you need you are far-sighted with your glasses off everything is much better farther away you need five steps of nearsighted correction to bring it more into focus here now once it is the correct size you need two steps of astigmatism correction of which I will check now and we end up at plus 75 one tick mark away from one that's because if you had a dollar 25 and someone borrowed 50 cents from you you would have plus 75 or 75 cents that's where at plus 75 in the black now same power in your left eye one more additional step of astigmatism correction but we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 70. so let me take this out let me grab that left lens dry everything off and i gotta admit it was fun talking to michael on the phone i'm a people person that's the one thing about internet sales I don't get to interact with people and again so I turn the frame around the side I'm working on closest to me elbows touching my sides arms bent at a right angle I push down oh, off goes the block onto the floor but I'll pick that up later and again I'm wearing the same frame if you don't believe me I've just got it in a different color color 789 which is blue orange pop out my lens which has the right side pop his out put it into my frame that's it pop his lens out put the original sunglass lens now again this is such a great frame if you wear contacts I can put your prescription lenses in here when you don't want to wear the prescription lenses you want to wear your contacts you can wear these with the sunglass lenses in there pop those out I know people who love glasses so much even when they wear their contact lenses they buy non prescription lenses and they pop them in there wait that's yours because it's got the dots on there so I have people with one frame have three sets of lenses they have their prescription lenses they have the when they're not wearing their contacts when they are wearing their contacts they can put in the sunglass lenses but when they want to wear them inside they pop in the non prescription lenses to wear as a fashion piece because some people feel they look better with glasses all right mine's a little struggling let me use my cleaning cloth get my fingerprints off what do you know you get an orange one too all right let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing yo 
come down here, put it in above that black dot, spin the fine tune knob to 70, 70, check the power, again plus 125, one tick mark north of one, you have three steps of astigmatism correction and I'm spinning the wheel, we end up three tick marks away from that and we end up at plus 50, exactly halfway between zero and one, because again, if you had a dollar twenty-five and someone borrowed seventy-five cents, you would end up with fifty. That's where we're at. Fifty. So now that's just your distance correction. You have you've got the invisible bifocal, the ideal advanced digital freeform lens, which again is an Essilor lens. I'm an Essilor guy. Did y'all know that Essilor owns Crizal and Transitions? That's why Zeiss lenses can't use the term transitions because Essilor owns it. Um, and I happen to love them. They're the, they're the giant in the optical world, but they treat me very good, even though it's me, the independent. They'll do business with me at a great price, too. That's why I can offer lenses so much cheaper than anyone else. So, if uh, the bifocals refer to the add, because it means in addition, add is short for the word addition, in addition to what's on top, so if you were to buy over-the-counter reading glasses, you would add 225 and 125, so you need about a 350. If you could find that computer distance, probably about a 250 to 275. If you were trying to thread a needle or tie a lure, you need about a plus 350. So that's how that works. So 125 to make everything in the distance the correct size. Additional 225 up close to make everything up close the right size and clear. So. But this is the portion in every video that as I clean your men's lenses, I mentioned that when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, your pupillary distance. I'm glad I cleaned the front of the lens, the dots are on the back. 31.5 for your right eye, 31.5 for the left for a total of 63. I'm going to turn this card around and place the PD stick, come on, where's that, against my thumb on your right lens, and then when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 63 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Let's check the optical center height. It's supposed to be 23 millimeters. So to the bottom of the frame, the middle of the frame, we're getting 23 millimeters. That is cut perfectly. 23 millimeters. That is cut perfectly. Man, I tell you, whoever cut these lenses did a great job. I couldn't have done a better job if I'd done it myself. So, but when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could feel too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance the one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just go in and tell them if it's too loose or too tight or high on one side, they'll know what to do. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses properly, and they'll do that. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Again, let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. Flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. And the neither temple is askew like that. So this is what your lenses look like clear. The first time, I'm going to go ahead and activate them in my transitions box here in just a second, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of UV light. Now, Michael, I send out a selfie request in every package. Please send me a picture of you out on the lake, posing with a fish, hanging from the fishing line, wearing your glasses. How about it? Come on, Mr. Beach House. And buy a second pair from me so I can buy Beach House, or I can fly out there and uh, join you one day out on the lake. But not only that, I send out in cleaning instructions, not only how to care for your frame and your lenses, but for the premium microfiber cloth that I'm going to provide, your Crizal anti-glare cleaning cloth, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and your case. So those two will last you for years. No other seller on the internet does that. No other seller on the internet is going to give you a cleaning cloth with tiny print. I want to punch the person in the throat who, at the printers who made these where it's always great when you send out a pair of glasses and you can't see the print so i'm i'm reworking that but i bought a thousand of these cloths so anyone can tell me what to do with these when i get out of jail from punching my printers um let me know so yes i'm yeah i know i know the print's too small ah pet peeve just breathe <sighs> breathe deeply <sighs> okay back to work so 
this is what the lenses look like first time <laughs> before they've been activated for the first time and here's a good example you have the trans. by the way your frame sells for the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair in any color any size sells for 150 the Essilor Ideal Advanced Invisible Digital Freeform Progressive that's a lot of words but it's the top of the line Essilor lens sells for 150 149.99 if you're real particular you got the transitions extra active gray regular transitions is 79.99 the extra active costs more because they do more and i'll demonstrate that in just a moment 99.99 and the Crizal anti-glare no matter what lens you get it on is 69.99 for a total of 469.97 so you have the transitions extra active i have the transition signature 7 mine retain about three to five percent hue while indoors where's that other lens this lens is clear the silhouette drill mount shape that i did for someone clear mine have three to five percent hue while indoors the transitions extra active have about five to seven percent but compared to the clear lens it's still very 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 close when you're wearing it just your skin tone no one's going to see the lens in your frame but i like to point that out so it is 2% up to 2% darker while indoors, but it's going to get much, much darker outdoors. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and activate them, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now, Michael, this is important. Pay attention. All transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day. For the first couple of weeks, they're exposed to the sun outside. After that, they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time that the lenses, the transition lenses like I have, Signature 7 lenses, won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your son's windshield absorbed all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day mine do not get dark behind a car yours michael with the extra active will get 30 to 50 percent dark even in a car now if you have a convertible or a motorcycle the signature 7 will get dark now they're also temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above um I like to remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable your glasses are miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside but the extra active will get darker outdoors in hotter weather because they're designed for extra active people now this is the first time they've been darkened don't worry michael they're going to keep getting darker come on we talked about that don't you remember pay attention stay with me michael stay with me um but as i continue to run my mouth you'll see that they will lighten back to about the shade of mine or very close to that now if you've liked what you've seen or if you're like a glutton for punishment subscribe to my youtube channel you can follow me on facebook and instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com you can follow me on twitter as free rx lenses you can email me with any questions on the contact me button on the website although some people said they can't get through with their operating system or i really don't know why so but you can email me directly at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or better yet if you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll answer it there. Plus, other people will be able to read and learn from your inquisitive nature. You may have thought of something that someone else didn't, and you can leave that comment there. As you can see, they're getting lighter and lighter. So, Michael in Sagal, Idaho, I appreciate you supporting the small, independent, local optician. I can't get any more local. I'm right here. <laughs> but... Uh, and it'll be local for you when I mail your glasses to you. Did I mention free shipping anywhere in the U.S.? But I appreciate you supporting a, a local independent businessman like myself. You could have gone to anywhere in corporate America and paid a lot more, but you chose to support me, and I appreciate that. So I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut prescription lenses with Transitions Extra Active Invisible Bifocal with Crizal Anti-Glare for your Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer Color 902 in the 52 eye size. Again, this frame sells for 150 in either of the three colors, three sizes, excuse me, 52, 55. Yeah, so here's a 52. When I cut lenses only for people, I have a frame front from same color as yours, the tortoise, and a 52. This is the 55 eye size and the matte black rubber. And these are all broken frames that I replaced for people. One person drove over them with their car. You can see that almost gravel 
where it broke into it but the frame it still holds its shape you can see where the road <laughs> ate it up but I can still use it and give life into it I don't throw anything in the landfill I can still use that so that's the 52 eye size the 55 I just don't have the the 58 in front of me I need to work on that so put that on there again as I continue to run my mouth it's almost back to clear another 30 seconds from now it will be but again, thank you for watching, and everyone now has seen how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.